More patients, fewer GPs. New Sky Analysis paints a grim picture, especially in the most deprived and most diverse areas. How much extra pressure are GPs facing? It is just constant, that's all. You just can't switch off. You're always thinking about that patient that you could have done more for. You're always thinking about other patients that you need to deal with. There is a constant pressure to do things. 274 patients have phoned us already today. That may be 700 on a Monday. Uh, and there just aren't 274 slots that we can find for those patients to get what they need today. Analysis of the latest figures by the Sky News data and forensics team shows what GPs are up against. This is the number of practices in England and Wales. Steady growth from the mid-80s onwards, but then nearly one in five have shut over the last decade. Now, on top of that, there are fewer GPs here in black. They're dealing with a lot more patients in yellow, even since 2016. And the problem gets worse depending where you are, or specifically how wealthy the area you live in is. The most deprived areas here on the left have the fewest GPs per patient. And even within those deprived areas, GPs serving people from minority backgrounds are the most stretched. South Asian communities have nearly 1,000 more patients per GP than white communities. And GPs from across the country have been in touch to talk about the pressure. We already have collapsed, in all fairness, and if somebody is trying to tell you that we haven't collapsed, they're absolutely wrong. We're a bucket full of holes. So you are putting in lots of trainees, they're taking on the training post, but they're leaving. This has been coming for about 10 years. I've been a GP 30 years. I think the last 10 years, this has been an increasing problem, um, and it's just not been addressed properly. The Department of Health and Social Care told us that they were investing in primary care and that there were 500 more doctors working in general practice compared to a year ago. For the GPs we spoke to, that is not nearly enough to plug the holes that already exist. Tom Cheshire, Sky News.